All right, here's our video today. Maggot debridement therapy, MDT. It's been around a long time, actually. Looks kind of disgusting. You see those maggots in the background. And more disgusting, you see that wound. And that's basically what it is. Maggots have been used, and they still are. They're used in wound therapy. And we'll talk about that in the video today. And maggots, you know, they are baby flies. That's the easiest way to think about it. They're in the larval stage of flies. And like frogs, flies go through metamorphosis. I'll show you a picture of that. You know, so we have the eggs and the, the three stage of the larval, the pupa, and eventually the fly. And though it's disgusting, flies and maggots, by the way, play a vital role in ecology for decomposing organic matter. So those rotten, dead flesh, you know, we rely on maggots to get rid of it. And that is the word debridement in itself, because debridement is the removal of dead tissue. And that dead tissue is necrotic. So let's, let's write that down, get the pen going, put it over here, necrotic. It just means dead tissue. And so the first use of this, and it goes back perhaps way before this, but documented, we know that in the Civil War, a Confederate medical doctor named John Zacharias, he was using it to treat the wounds of soldiers. And you know, the maggots will only eat dead tissue. And before the Civil War, there is some reports in Napoleon's army, and when he was in Egypt, that the surgeon in Napoleon's army was using maggots. Uh, well, he was talking about them, whether he used them or not was an, is another story. So we should write down, we should know that when they do this, the maggots, by the way, they use sterilized maggots. And so they will promote healing by removing the dead tissue. And they will not eat healthy tissue. So we'll say these maggots, put over here, maggots. Maggots will not eat dead tissue. I uh, eat healthy tissue. Let's fix that. They only eat dead tissue. All right. And oh, we forgot the L there. Let's put that back in there. Fit the L in. Healthy tissue. We got a we got an unhealthy healthy word here. So let's let's clean that up over here. And we'll do it again. So maggots in the larval stage, the maggots. Right? Will not eat healthy tissue. There we go. So what the doctor's doing, let's go back to that picture. So they put the maggots in the wound, but they don't just leave it there. They'll seal the wound so the maggots can go to town. So they're going to eat the dead tissue, but they're also going to eat, they're going to help, because they have these enzymes inside them that can help kill bacteria. And so this was used even in World War II. There's documentation that was used during Pearl Harbor, right? Some of those burn victims in the Arizona and the Oklahoma and so forth, they received some maggot therapy. But when penicillin was introduced, probably toward the end of the war, 1944, maggot therapy started dying. And now it's making a comeback because of the strains that back, of the bacteria now are becoming more and more resistant to antibiotics. So now maggot therapy is making a comeback. So once in the wound, the maggots will stay about four days. So we're right over here, four day journey. And here you see as you know, kind of disgusting, but they're wrapping it. The surgeon will wrap it. And so they can promote healing. But it will stay four days. So it's a four day healing process. And then they'll remove the maggots. And again, these maggots are sterile. And so what I said also is they produce these enzymes in the wound, and they not only will it help liquefy the dead tissue, they will also create antibacterial uh, secretions. Call them anti-micro uh, sec secretions. Because in the wounds, there's also biofilms. Put biofilms here. And biofilms could be bacteria and fungus and other like algae sometimes. And so they do have these enzymes that can kill them. So they're, they're promoting healing 
by eating the dead tissue and killing off bacteria. All right, so if there's th three takeaways from this, and we'll use, well, we'll use yellow. There's debridement. And debridement, that word right over here, just means getting rid of dead tissue, necrotic. So we're right over here, necrotic tissue. Eh, we can't see that. Use red. Necrotic. And that's just dead tissue. So that's what debridement means, getting rid of dead tissue. There's also disinfection. It's another word that the maggot debridement therapy can help with disinfection by killing the bacteria and the fungus and other biofilms, reducing it. And so it can help accelerate healing. So that's what MDT, short for maggot debridement therapy, is.